Yes boys, what is going on lads? Welcome back to another video and yet another player review. Today we've got man of the match Christian Eriksen. We just did a team of year honourable mentions Marquinhos. I absolutely love that card so that is up on the channel if you want to check that out. But man of the match Christian Eriksen, AC Milan versus Inter Milan was a banging game to watch. Lukaku versus Ibrahimovic. Ibra got sent off and Eriksen scored a last minute winner. A very, very fun game to actually watch. And the highlights, I mean, I didn't get to watch it live, but the highlights just, I wish I did watch it live. That's probably one of my only regrets. But Christian Eriksen getting a man of a match for his performance. There's also a Greenwood, which we might do a man of a match Greenwood review, so let me know down below if you want to see that. But coming in at 56,000 coins, 5 foot 11, he's got the high, high work crates, he's right footed, 4 star skill moves. The five-star weak foot, lads. This card looks absolutely exceptional with his base stats. His height, perfect. High, high will be amazing, especially as a left cam. He will be everywhere, dropping between the left back and, the, obviously, the strikers. He will just be everywhere to four-star skill moves. Five-star weak foot, no matter what foot you hit it with, it's going in. Going over to his attributes, he looks absolutely class. I was actually first, I don't know why, but I thought he was a CDM, and then I realized he's definitely not a CDM because... Terrible defending, obviously his strength and aggression is, is horrible. And I forgot, obviously Christian Eriksen is known for being a central attacking midfielder. So I've gone ahead and chucked a hunter on him, putting him to 85 pace. Because 75 pace, to be honest, is not great. We're going to be trying him as a left cam, but we may have to switch to a 4-2-3-1 and use him as a central cam because I'm not too sure how 85 pace will do on the wing, so we'll just have to see. But like I said... The weak foot, sorry, the weak foot, the pace is not great. And the good thing is you can play him right cam, left cam, it doesn't matter. He's got the five-star weak foot, he's going to be unpredictable either way. Um, but like I said, you need that hunter, you need that plus 10 pace, otherwise he, he's almost not, I'm not going to say not usable, but he's just a lot, a lot bit better with a hunter applied. Not only that, with a hunter, he goes to 91 finishing, 91 positioning, 93 shot power, 93 long shots, and he goes to 99 volleys with 80 penalties as part. Passing is absolutely sensational. You do not have to touch his passing. As for his dribbling, his agility and balance of 81 and 84 is nothing insane, but it's obviously, it does the job, and he's got some really nice ball control, some really nice reactions, and some absolutely incredible composure of 90. Physical with 95 stamina as well. I'm really excited to try the high, high work rates across the 95 with his 95 stamina he will work like it's nothing he will be running the pitch back and forth and he will not run out of gas at all absolutely incredible and you can see his 47 aggression his 58 strength yes he's going to get bullied off a ball and yes if he does lose a ball he is definitely not going to going to charge in to try and win it back with that 47 aggression not at all so you just will have to keep that in mind and we'll see how it pans out as for player traits he does have the flare trait i was hoping for maybe a finesse shot trait there as well but no only a flare trait so for the custom tactics we will be playing him as a, in a four triple two as you can see the lineup so we're playing him as a left cam and like i said hopefully his pace doesn't come in too big because like I don't really like playing really slow players as a left cam because they just don't keep up. As a right and left cam, they really do work as a winger. See, with Robin, I have him on get into the box and uh, free roam. And the exact same for Christian Eriksen, get into the box, free roam. The good thing about free roam is he will he would adventure between maybe the CDM and striker. He'll go out wide. He'll be all over the place. But most importantly... I just wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend having them on drift wide, because if you have them on drift wide, they will work as wingers, and the 75 pace, for me, is just not enough for a winger, even with a hunter, 85 pace, he'd be best used as a free roam, a wide cam, or a central cam on get into the box or cross. This is a lineup, boys, let's get into the Christian Eriksen, man of the match review, is he worth it? So boys, the team that we'll be facing, we may play one, two games depending on how much clips we get. It's a really nice team, it's your classic sweetie team, he's got the mullet, uh, Mbappe, Awa, the centre-backs is interesting. It's just the meta of Kunde and Mendy, but I do admit the, uh, the right-back and centre-back with Voland at centre-back link is a very nice link. It's a solid team, not an insane team, it's just a solid, classic, sweaty, hybrid team, so... Uh, these are the teams I'm scared of, to be honest, especially in Division 1, so we'll see how we do, lads. I see Ericsson here. Got a full star skill moves. Okay, so his 81 agility and 84 balance. He doesn't feel great, but he doesn't feel bad. He feels, he does the job, especially on the ball. I think he's, 
He's an interesting one. He's not obviously nowhere near as good as an Mbappe or a Neymar on the ball, but he's not, not by no means he's clunky. He's just average. That's the best way to describe his dribbling stats, average. Eriksen, go on, oh, that pass, that pass. Butraguena, Butraguena, I'm going to say it, lads, for 1.3 million coins, has not lived up to his hype for me. I've used him for like 60 games. I'm just... I'm not really liking him as much as I would with an Mbappe or something. Nice control from Ericsson there. Go on, let's keep going for it. We've actually duped him. He's not the fastest. He's not the fastest, but he's not slow. Like, look at him go. He's not necessarily slow. You know what? Let's cut inside. You know what? Oh, imagine, dude. I was like, my opponent isn't bringing people out. I have an opportunity to cut in. So he bull roll, and it's a really good finesse shot. Um, we might try him as a right cam as well, because obviously right or left footed, it does not matter. Uh, I just I seem to be a one-sided player, so I usually play with one side of a pitch. Usually, I use my left cam, so Ericsson, in this half, and in my next half, I'll be using Robin way more. I don't know what it is. I'm just a one-sided player, I guess you could say. Um, but so far, dribbling, average, passing, exceptional. And from that shot, we did feel very, very nice, powerful shot there. Ericsson, speaking of Ericsson, nice uh, little roulette. Go on. Back what the Ericsson. fuck was that? That is a... Uh, I'm cutting that one out. That's not going in the video. Terrible. Go on, I have a plan. I want to... Uh, Kind of give it up a little bit. We see Ericsson. That's a free roam. He's not drifting wide. He's more kind of just in in the middle, if you will. Go on, Ericsson. Opponents brought up a high line. I see uh, Robin. It's really good control there. 31 minutes gone already. This has gone very fast. It's a very back and forth game. I've been mainly dominant at the minute, and just he's been hitting on the counter. It's anyone's game, to be honest. Go on, Ericsson. Go out, Ericsson. You see, he's not strong. You see what, yeah, so I mean, I was going to say he's not strong, so I want to avoid contact. That is one thing that I can tell will get in the way, is that strength. Butra over the top. We take a corner from that. Is Ericsson on these corners? Because he's got some really, yeah, he is. Thought so, right. Ericsson, I'm just going to bang that to Cristiano Ronaldo's head. It's not Ronaldo, it's Graven Birch. Does it work? Doesn't quite work. If that was Ronaldo, I feel like much better chance here. Go. Surely, Robin. Surely, son. Robin, there we go. One one baby. One one. We're gonna we're gonna go defensive, but I'm thinking I'm switching to attacking around the 70th minute if it's still all tied up. Really good run. We found our way through. Ericsson, like I said, I'm a one-sided player, nothing to do with that play. Um so come the second half, I'm thinking of actually changing Ericsson to that right cam, maybe moving Robin to striker and then subbing off uh putting on Hazard at left cam. Not too sure, but a really nice counter-attack goal. Well, it wasn't even a counter-attack goal, a brilliant run from uh, Robin. Ericsson get to that oh he does too exceptional from Ericsson to get to that one the passing is just the, the most fun he's probably the best passer I've used uh, on FIFA without a doubt easily Ronaldo Ericsson come on Ericsson come on Ericsson oh hey, what a freaking finish Ericsson come on son beautiful my opponent moved my keeper for Ronaldo but Ericsson is there honestly incredible goal that Absolutely phenomenal goal. Holy shit, on the volley. I didn't mean to unpause, so I want to pause again and make some changes. Absolutely incredible from Christian Eriksen. Really nice volley. Really nice volley. And it was like outside of the box too as well. Makes it even better, lads. We're going to go to a 4 2 3 1. We're going to put Eriksen as a central cam, keep CR7 up front, and sub Butra off for Eden Hazard. I am honestly. Eriksen, he's so good. Attacking wise, defensive wise, he's obviously he hasn't got the defending, but his work rates are exceptional. But it's just his strength is my only worry, and my only thing that is bugging me about him is his strength. But other than that, he is top notch. Honestly, really loving this card, and what a freaking finish from a man! I mean, that finish explains it all. Absolutely phenomenal finish. This is what we're going to go with for the last 15 minutes. Try him out as a central cam. He can play cam, center mid, and right mid. So keep that in mind. You can play right mid if you want him to. Although I don't recommend it. Just he, He's just a natural cam. And he's doing he's doing bits there. Let's see how he, see how he works in a 4-2-3-1. Go on, Ericsson. Last attack of the game. If we can actually get a third here, that would actually be class. Actually, no. The, the servers are as slow as they have been. Why blow the wrist? At, oh. This ref's done. We, we missed out on an extra goal. We could have got more points from that. Why well, blow the whistle there, ref? Um, but that was the most slow, painful game I've played in my life. Ericsson with an absolutely beautiful finish. As a cam... Oh, yes, man of a match too. He gets... 
an assist. Oh no, that was Graven Birch, my bad. I don't know what I'm seeing, but honestly, absolutely incredible from Ericsson. Um, we were robbed of a, probably another assist for you. Ronaldo got through, I think that was an Ericsson assist, but either way, lads, absolutely love this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at those match highlights of that beautiful finish. So you can see we go 1-0 down here. Freaking fuming. Misplaced that pass completely. 54 minutes in. Eriksson, nothing to do with this goal. He's on the far left, but one thing to take away from this goal with Eriksson is he, he's just working up. His high, high work rates, he starts sprinting. But either way, Robbie and I knew my opponent would move his keeper, so I just went uh, far post. And what a way to win it. Absolutely beautiful finish from Eriksson. So Ronaldo goes through, and I knew my opponent was... He moved my opponent, and fair play to my opponent. That was a really good movement of the keeper, because as soon as I shot it, I've already shot it at this point. He starts moving his keeper then. Really good play. But as you can see, who cares when you've got freaking Ericsson on it? Dude, Ericsson was without a doubt the man of the match. A brilliant volley. And that's that five-star weak foot, man. That is that five-star weak foot. Right foot, left foot. Who gives a shit? It's Ericsson. And he bangs that in. An absolutely beautiful finish from Ericsson there. So it's one game, one goal. And I have had a lot of clips with him. Usually we play two games, but I've got a thumping headache. Um, so I want to end this video short. But Ericsson, man of the match, and he's absolutely insane. So let's hop over to the pros and cons screen. Boys, Christian Eriksen, the pros, it is going to be his shooting, it's going to be his passing, and it is going to be his work rates, his skill moves, um, and his five-star weak foot. Honestly, the highlights of this card was his skill moves, was a five-star weak foot. He was everywhere, his high-high work rates, he was everywhere. The shooting, that shot he had on him was absolutely phenomenal, and his passing has to be the biggest pro of them all, just because... I loved his passing. It was just so smooth. The animation of passing, how smooth the pass was, even from short distance, the power on that pass, it was precisely to my uh, uh, my player's feet. Ericsson's passing has honestly sold this card for me. His stamina is a really good mention as well. But under cons, it's going to be his pace, it's going to be his strength, and it's going to be his aggression. First of all, the pace, 75, yes, it's not low. With the Hunter going to 85, as a left cam or right cam, he's not the fastest whatsoever. As a central cam, he'll do the job fine. Or if you are like me, I used him as a wide cam on free roam. He did the job fine. I'm not saying it's a massive con, but it is a con because the 75 pace could be a lot better. And it's just a shame that he is that slow. If he was 80 pace going to 90 with a Hunter, it would be a significant difference. Um, and his pace did get him even with a Hunter now and again. But still, it's not the biggest worry of them all. And as for strength and aggression, easily, easily the biggest cons because... Just you push him the 58 strength and he's off the ball. You feel with him that you have to avoid physical contact with your opponent's defender. Because if you know, if it's, if Ericsson does get involved in that, he's never really winning the ball. Unless you do get some EAs and get very lucky to win that ball. So honestly, Ericsson for me, with the pros, with the cons combined, he's not a bad card. I really did enjoy this card. And like looking past the strength, looking past the aggression, his stamina, his work rates, his shooting, passing, dribbling, four star. 5 star was absolutely phenomenal. So for a rating out of 10, coming in at roughly 50,000 coins, he's a really good uh, center attacking mid option uh, for your for your team. So without a doubt, 10 being insane value, 1 being absolutely terrible, 5 being average, he's going to be given an 8 out of 10 for me. He's done the job really cheap as well, 50k, rocket of a shot on him. He will do the job very nicely, but I would recommend to use him as a central cam. But I did use him as a left cam. He worked very well. But as a central cam, definitely will be where he works his best. Been your boy Davis. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Till next time, lads. I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.